there's a new buzz in the world of flying robotics. It surrounds the Airbur V11, whose creators say its insect-like features make it perfect for reconnaissance work, especially in dangerous or cluttered environments. Up until now, using flying robots in search and rescue missions has been problematic. They quickly run out of power and can break during high-speed collisions. The Airbur's contact-sensitive carbon fibre bumpers help it withstand accidents, while a perching mechanism makes it stick to the wall, so power can be switched off while it scans the area. Co-designer Adrian Priod from Swiss Technology Research Institute, EPFL, says it's designed to replicate flying insects. Unlike our robots, insects were able to quickly recover in the air and continue their mission, continue flying. It was actually part of their everyday life, colliding into things. That's what led to uh, this robot that's able to collide into things without breaking, and even it's able to recover after fall to the ground so that it can fly again. The robot's propellers are kept safely inside its core while motion sensors provide stability during flight. Eight equidistant bumpers take the strain of inevitable crashes. Sometimes we can avoid obstacles thanks to our onboard sensors, but sometimes we cannot, and that's fine. We even use the information we get from collisions to navigate and learn from collisions to decide where to go next. Its perching mechanism is named Gecko after the lizard which climbs by using forces created between the tip of each hair on its claw and the surface it's mounting. Ludovic Daller's device contains tiny artificial hairs attached to a lever deployed by navigators. So we can use the sensor to align the robot um, in the correct position towards the wall. When the robot is flying, the bat stays inside the robot and when we detect uh, a wall that is on the good side of the robot, we can deploy this adhesive pad and attach to the wall. Airbur is a joint project between EPFL and Carnegie Mellon University in the US. Its creators think a modified version could one day help rescuers locate survivors in collapsed buildings.